Hello and welcome back to Seconds Out. My name is Eamon Khan here with the Trojan Troy Williamson to talk boxing. Troy, sir, how you doing? Yeah, I'm not too bad, Eamon. How are you? Yeah, all the better for speaking to you, Troy. Uh, Troy, before I want to talk about yourself, if we just talk a little bit about Anthony Fowler, someone you sparred a load of rounds with recently announced he's retiring. Just your thoughts on Anthony, Anthony Fowler now that he's hung up the gloves. Uh, great fighter, great guy. Um, he boxes amateurs and never done plenty of rounds of us, plenty of rounds of his pros and we, we became friends. Mm. Um, yeah, fair play with me. He's, he's obviously he's in a comfortable position where he can retire. Got all the faculties there, and he's obviously got a, a lovely family there. So, yeah, I wish the best for him. I watched parts of a uh, Boxing UK's interview with Anthony Fowler talking about his retirement, and uh, it kind of got he mentioned as well, like you know, maybe if he'd had a bit more in the gas tank, he might have been a bit of a better fighter. You sparred loads around with him, you got to maybe see the best of him. Just how good of a fighter was he? Oh, he's very good, obviously. Look at his accomplishments as, as an amateur. Mm. And as a professional, so yeah, he was a great fighter. Um, and I, I, I did see a comment that he said that he, he did his best as a pro, and like you said, fair, fair play to him. Um, I think he, he, he did alright as, as a pro as well, so yeah, we should nothing but the best going forward. From one good fighter to another, let's focus on yourself. Uh, now I know you like to look forward, but I noted on your social media post from you, you, you know, you were sympathizing with Ryan Garcia saying that. You know, when you have a loss, you know what it's like to have the people maybe you expect to be around you when you're winning, not there after you had a loss. I uh, just want to know or, or get you to elaborate more, more on that, Troy. Yeah, obviously, I wasn't there pinpointing that, obviously, certain people, but the people know, the people know that, obviously, who weren't there and, and who, who were still there. So, yeah, just um, when you're winning, when, you, when, you're, when you're on the high horse, everyone wants to be around you and every, everyone wants to be here. And then, obviously, once you have a hiccup, um, like you said, it's, uh, you shall you shall find out who your who your real friends are because there's not many people about. Has it made you kind of rethink your your circle a bit more? I guess. No, not really, because like you said, I, I know my circle. I, I know who's who's uh, who's close to me and who really wants the best for me, and I uh, I know all the uh, all the hangers on. So has not really made me rethink me rethink me circle anything like that. Obviously, I, I know I, I've always known where I've come from, and I'll never forget where I've come from. And I've always had the same people when I'm at the bottom to where where I've been mm-hmm. and where I'm gonna go. There'll be the same people there. Now you're you're very much an exciting fighter um, in terms of us, you know, seeing what you produce in the ring. But it's now six months since your last fight. And I was kind of wondering, when are we going to see you back in the ring? So what is the current status in terms of you returning to the ring, Troy, in your own words? Yeah, there's, there's been a, a couple of a couple of days mentioned and they've, they've fell through uh, for whatever reason. But um, I'm ready to go. I'd like to be out very, 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 very soon. Um need to keep the momentum going. Like you said, I'm training hard in the gym, day in, day out, six days a week trying to keep my weight down to a reasonable weight but it's hard when you when they when you when you've got no dates you can train as hard as you want but it's the diet and that's 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 the hardest um no matter how hard you train it's like you said it's, you are what you eat i believe so i say you can't um you can't walk around that fighting way it's all you like you can speak to any other boxer you can't walk around that fighting way it's it's not it's not not comfortable mm. um so yeah, I'm I'm ready to go now. Just like you say, my, my weight's fine. It's just but it's more for, I don't know what to say, but it's more frustrating to be fair. I've sat and thought about like what 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 to do, and it's it's very very frustrating because yeah, like I see all these other fighters getting big opportunities that I, I believe that I'll I'd beat mm. or like I'd give a really good fight to. So I just uh. Really hope that I, I, I get the uh, I get the call that 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 I want, and that's the fight, and hopefully it happens very soon. Hopefully it does happen soon, Troy. It's part of it to do with you know Probellum's uh, disintegration and move this move over to <laughs> disrupt promotions. Is that part of the reason as to why there's been this this lack of activity from yourself? Are you, have you had any kind of conversations with 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 disrupt at all? No, I've not had no conversations with anybody at disrupt. Uh, don't know who's behind it to be honest with you so 
both global fighters and obviously a lot of old fighters that are tied with them. Um, mm. I, I've seen that the announcement show in Uzbekistan. Yeah. So fingers crossed that that is the that is the start of them announcing shows. But um, I've heard numerous dates being sung at me about them coming up to the North East. But like I said, obviously I don't have a clue, so it's just all the waiting game. In terms of that waiting game, when you're ready and you do get a date announced, remind me, like, are you planning to stay at Super Welt or are you jumping up a division? What's your plan in terms of you, 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 the next the division that you're in? Depends what, what I get offered next. Because, um, like, like, I don't want to drop down to six, eight rounders or mm. way past that level. And to be fair, it'd be, it'd be hard to get up for them sort of fights. Like, you know, I live in the gym. I eat well, but to go back on and fight journeyman, I don't want to. I don't want to do that, and nobody wants to see me fight journeyman. So I'm ready to just jump straight back into a big fight, whether that's super well there, middle. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Are there any names on your hit list, Troy, that you're looking for specifically? Uh, Agiago. I'd I'd love that fight. I seen Eddie Hearn. He mentioned my name first, uh, saying that he'd love that, that fight. So. Yeah, we can make that happen. Um, super, again, super well in the middle. I don't know what way he's, he wants to comp- campaign at. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm up for that fight. Uh, plenty of fights out there. Like, Samek and fight. A lot of people, a lot of people have, have seen tweet about that. Uh, the Mac Park. Listen, like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not one to call these fighters out, but these are the fights that I want. And these are big domestic fights. So I can't see why we can't make them up. If, if, no. if they're one, then we can, we can have it. You know, you're definitely not the type to to kind of call out and, and trash talk anyone. But the idea of you and a, a Jarko or a- Eggington squaring off sounds like a, another great fighting prospect. If we start on a Jarko, where do you feel that you have the advantages of a, a Jarko to get the win over him if you do if you do meet with him in the ring? Uh, I think Jarko's a, a brilliant fighter. I'm not going to sit here and disrespect him because great fighter. Um, but I think I don't think he's boxed at the level that I boxed at. Mm. I know that he fought Grand De- with Grand Dennis last time out. Yeah, didn't catch a fight, but from what I've seen, I think Grand Dennis thought that he won more of the rounds than what Agiago thought he won. But uh, I think experience, um, and I think yeah, I just think experience, and I think that I'll I'll work him. And and to be honest with you, I think I'll get to him later on and get him out there. The other fight being Eggington, look, that just sounds like a, a, a real war from start to finish, whoever gets the hand raised in that fight. Is that the fight out of the two you'd want more so than, than Agyaka, maybe, if, if you had the choice? Yeah, if I had the choice, because I think Eggington's a bigger name. Uh, yeah. He's done more as a pro, so, yeah, I think that it's, that'd rank me higher by beating Eggin. And I said it before, I think Eggin's a punch bag, and I think I'd, I think I'd knock him out. Mm-hmm. But like no disrespect to him, he's a great fighter. He's done, he's accomplished a lot in the pause as well. So uh, obviously my respect there, but I do think that I'll I'll have the beat of him. Troy, a couple of final uh, fighters I want to throw at you, get your thoughts on uh, two of them being Dennis Hogan and Jimmy Kelly Jr. Any thoughts on those two as potential opponents? Yeah, I thought, I thought you were the one about them fighting. Um, yeah, that they're, they're comparing up. Suit well, I don't know. I don't think Jimmy Kelly is suit well. I think he's moved to middle. Okay. Or maybe suit middle, but I'm not too sure. I've done a bit of spam with him. Uh, I think he's listen to all these fights that you name and they're all great fights. And mm. that's what I want to be a part of is big fights. So I'm willing to take any uh, any fighter that before at me. Um, it's just obviously guys that do that. I want it as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, Troy, um, Couple of things before I let you go. Uh, Savannah Marshall looking to rebuild, uh, taking on Franchon Cruz Desern uh, for the disputed titles. You believe that Savannah Marshall will get the victory over Franchon Cruz Desern and then hopefully get the rematch with Clarissa Shields? I hope so. Obviously, I'm a big fan of Savannah Marshall. She's from the Northeast. Uh, she's flying the flag for the Northeast. So, yeah, I really do hope that she wins. Mm-hmm. I've not seen much of that Franchon Cruz, um, but obviously, I'm back in Savannah Marshall. I'm bringing it back to you. Look, Hopefully you get back in the ring soon. When do you expect to be back in the ring, Troy? Don't, don't have a clue. Genuinely do not have a clue. It's just I'm staying in the gym. I'm staying on it. Uh, as hard as it is, I'm staying on it. Uh, and hopefully I'll get the call soon. I've, 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 got me, I've, got, I've got a mortgage to pay. I've got a baby on the way. I've got bills to pay. The only income I get is sports. And so, 
yeah, hopefully you'll get the call soon. Well, hopefully better times are around the corner and we'll get to see you back in the ring soon. Troy, much appreciated. Thank you for speaking to the second out. So we'll catch up very, very soon when you've got some news. Always, Evan. Thank you for having me, mate. Cheers.